Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. In today's episode, we will we are getting you top 10 interview question and answers on jQuery. This is part of the mock interview series that we are publishing. If you have not checked out the previous episodes on HTML, CSS, JavaScript and Bootstrap, I request you to kindly do so. During the course of this test, the rules are simple. You have to read all the questions and options carefully and choose your answers. Try to complete this within 10 minutes and try to be as honest as you can. Let's get started with mock interview question and answers on jQuery. Which of the following type of variable is visible everywhere in your JavaScript code? Local variable, global variable, both of the above, none of the above. So the answer is global variable. That's right. Global variables are available throughout the course of the program in your in your application. If you have defined if because they are not defined with scope uh, operators like let, var or const. Which built in method reverses the order of the elements of an array? So here we are trying to find a method which will reverse the order of the elements of an array. So the answer sometimes lies in the question itself. So read the question carefully. You will figure out the, uh, that the answer is reverse a method. Which built in method returns the calling string value converted to lower case? Again, we have I told you that the answer sometimes most of the time it lies in the question itself. So the answer in this case is two lower case. Uh, when you call this method, it will convert all of the string into lower case. Which of the following jQuery method removes an attribute from each of the matched elements? Here we are trying to remove an attribute wherever it matches the elements. And so your options are delete attribute, remove attribute, remove attribute and none of the above. So your answer is remove ATTR followed by the name of the uh, attribute that you want to get it removed. Which of the following jQuery method adds the previous selection to current selection? So this is a tricky one. So read through again. Your options are add and self append none of the above and self is the one which will take the previous selection and add it to the current selection which of the following jquery method returns a jquery collection with the position parent of the first matched element so here we are trying to find the the returns a jquery collection with the position parent of the first matched element. So the answer here is offset parent. So that is what will match the first uh, element that is matching. Which of the following jQuery method gets the width property of an element? Obviously, this is this should be the straightforward one. It's width. When you call width property, it will give you the width of that particular element. Which of the following query writ method returns the top and left position of an element relative to its offset parent. So here we are trying to find top and left position. So using the position method, we can get the top left, top and the left position of an element. Which of the following jQuery method can be used to attach a function to be executed whenever an Ajax request fails? So here it's simple. I told you the answer lies in the question. So it's Ajax error callback. So this is the method it would call whenever an Ajax request fails. Which of the following jQuery method sets up setups global settings for Ajax request? So here uh, we are trying to see which is the method which will be used to make the Ajax call or XHR call. So it is jQuery dot Ajax setup. So this will set up the global settings for all our Ajax requests. All right. So that brings us to the end of the first mock interview on jQuery. I hope you liked this video. If you do, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also do please check out the other mock up interviews on 
HTML, CSS, Bootstrap and JavaScript. I'm sure you will gain a lot of valuable information from there. All the best for your interviews. Prepare well. Keep stay tuned. I'll be bringing in more tutorials.